We are on the second one, second aspect of basic EPS, which is basic EPS with bonus issue. Now, what is bonus issue? So bonus issue basically is when an entity issue out its shares pro bono. Pro bono means free of charge to its existing shareholders. And at times it might not be to existing shareholders, it might be to employees you know, to compensate for the outstanding work done or for an outstanding performance and to the person getting these shares the person won't pay anything but of course to the company the company will incur issuing expenses and also this bonus the bonus issue is also known as capitalization issue or script issue those are the other names for bonus issue and also we have two major treatments now we'll do under this bonus issue. Number one is for us to determine the bonus factor. And what do we mean by bonus factor? So bonus factor here is it's the formula is the number of shares after the bonus issue divided by number of shares before bonus issue. So now let me paint a scenario around that. For example, an entity is issuing 500,000 bonus shares and the entity has 5 million shares before the bonus issue. So in this case now, what will be the number of shares after the bonus issue? It will be the existing, the 5 million plus the bonus issue of 500,000. And in total, that would be 5.5 million. Then divided by the number of shares before the bonus issue of 5 million. So the bonus factor would now be 1.1. So what do you now do with this bonus factor? So you would multiply the bonus factor by the weighted average number of shares of the current year or period. So that is what you would do with the bonus factor. So now the next is for you to determine the reciprocal reciprocal of bonus factor so and this reciprocal is the opposite of the bonus factor so thereby the formula is number of shares before bonus issue divided by number of shares after bonus issue so now and what do you do with this reciprocal so you multiply the reciprocal of bonus factor by the EPS of the previous year. Emphasis on EPS of the previous year. You know the bonus factor, you, you are multiplying it by the current year, isn't it? But this you are multiplying it by the, the basic EPS of the previous year. So now let me now tell you the idea behind multiplying by the EPS of the previous year. So you know in the previous year there was no bonus issue on that assumption. So that is it was in the current year that we made the bonus issue. So in this current year now, you know the shares will now be more because bonus issue means we issued shares free. So which means the weighted average number of shares will be more. So thereby it will affect the basic EPS normally, that is the basic EPS would, would reduce. So, and in this previous year, there was no bonus issue. So we, are not, we will now try to strike a balance. You know, we'll try to reflect that, that bonus in the previous year as if it was also issued in the previous year. So that is, we would adjust the previous year's basic EPS with the what, reciprocal of bonus factor. And what we are trying to achieve here is that we want to make the previous year basic EPS to reflect the bonus issue. Bonus issue, I said that it's when an entity issued shares um, pro bono free of charge, right? And in this case now, the treatment here would be for us to calculate the bonus factor and the reciprocal of bonus factor. 
So the bonus factor now, it's calculated as the number of shares after bonus issue divided by number of shares before bonus issue. So I now printed the scenario. I said, let's assume that um, an entity has 5 million shares you know, existing and the company now issued 500,000 shares as bonus. So what was the number of shares that the company would have after the bonus? So to now get the bonus factor, so that would be 5.5 divided by 5 million. What's the answer in your calculator? That's 1.1. Good. So that's the bonus factor. So what, what's the function of this bonus factor? So the, the function of this bonus factor is that you multiply it by the weighted average number of shares of the current year. The reciprocal, what was the function of the reciprocal? In a bid to make the EPS comparable, you know, don't forget the basic objective of IS33 is that we want to use the EPS to evaluate performance of what different entities in the same accounting period and the same entity in different accounting period. So now that's the function. So now to make the EPS of the company comparable, you know, so that we can be able to do fair comparison of the performance. We will now need to adjust the previous year's basic EPS with the reciprocal of the bonus factor so that it can reflect the bonus factor. So, and the reciprocal is what? Number of shares before bonus issue divided by number of shares after bonus issue. So number of shares before bonus issue is 5 million divided by number of shares after bonus issue is what? 5.5 million. So punch your calculator now and tell me the answer. 5 million divided by 5.5. What's the answer? 0 0.9. Very good. So that's the reciprocal. You must back that with the EPS of the previous year. Example one on bonus issue. So now let's calculate the EPS for each of the years. So we told that a bonus issue of one new share for every five existing shares held on 1st of July. So now in this bonus issue, we don't prorate. You know, remember in the issue as full market price. Now we're now counting the month. Yeah, we don't do that. We only do these two adjustments, bonus factor and reciprocal, chicken. So we have example one, bonus issue. We'll start with the bonus factor. This is formula. The number of shares after bonus now, here's it. The bonus issue is one for every five. So if the bonus is one and existence five, then the number of shares after bonus is what? One plus five. Then number of shares before bonus is, is five. You get, so that will be six over five. So in this case now, six is the number of shares after the bonus issue. Then the number of shares before bonus, that's the, the shares you have already, and which is the five. So then the bonus factor here is six over five. First of all, we said the reciprocal of bonus factor formula is what? Number of shares before bonus issue over number of shares after bonus. So now, and the question says what? The bonus issue is what? One for every, the question says that the bonus issue is one for every five existing shares. So one for every five existing shares. So existing is what? Existing is the number of shares before the bonus. So I already explained that the number of shares before the bonus of five, and that would be one plus five, and that equals to six. So number of shares before the bonus, that's five, divided by number of shares after bonus, that's six. The reciprocal will now be five over six. Of shares before bonus, that's five, divided by one plus five. And that equals to five over six. Okay, let's calculate the basic EPS for 2008, which is the current year. So that would be the earnings. Earnings in 2008 is what? 550,000. Then divide by weighted average number of shares. Weighted average number of shares, that's the what? 
existing shares. Yeah, we're giving number of shares, number of ordinary share in issue as of December 31. That is December 31 of every year of 2008 and 2007. So now, at 2008, at the end of 2008, the cumulative shares is what 1.2. By 2007, the cumulative is what 1 million. So in this case now, the weighted average number of shares for 2008 would be 1.2 million directly. But I want to reflect the usage of the bonus factor here now. So in that case, I'll pick the existing, that is the number of shares that are at the beginning of 2008. And that's what 1 million times the bonus factor, which is 6 over 5. So this should be 550,000 divided by. So 1 million times 6 over 5. That's what 1.2 million. So five fifty thousand dollars divided by 1.2 million is how much? That's 0 0.46. So now the basic EPS for 2007. Normally that one will just be the earnings of 460 divided by the number of shares of 1 million. Then don't forget the function of the reciprocal. That is, we use it to adjust the previous year's basic EPS. Can I see it there? So you now do this times reciprocal is what? 5 over 6. So what will be the basic EPS for 2007? So that's 0 0.38. All right, let's solve example two on bonus issue. So a company has a share capital of 400,000 ordinary shares when it decides to make a bonus issue of one for four on 1st April 20X. So let's highlight that. It's profit for the year to 31st December 20X5. We had $60,000 and it's profit for the year to 31st December 20X6. We had $65,000. So the required is for us to calculate the EPS for each of the years. So now let's do that. So basically this is EPS. Here now we have to calculate the EPS when there is bonus issue. And you remember in our bonus issues, we are going to do two things. Number one is we are going to determine the bonus factor. And secondly, we will now determine the reciprocal. So let's go to our workings. Start with the bonus factor. This will be called workings one. So the bonus factor here is the bonus issue plus existing shares divided by the existing shares. So now the bonus issue now. This is it. We took a bonus issue of one for every four. That is, if you have only four existing shares, then we we'll give you a bonus of one. So one is the bonus issue plus the four is the existing shares then divided by four which is the existing shares and this will be five over four so then secondly is the reciprocal so the reciprocal of bonus factor that will be the opposite of bonus factor formula and that is equals to the existing shares divided by bonus issue plus existing Reciprocal of bonus factor, that will now be existing shares of 4 over 1 plus 4, and that's 4 over 5. So now let's now calculate the basic EPS. So the basic EPS formula, that would be what? The basic EPS formula is profit attributable to ordinary shareholders divided by the weighted average number of shares. So now the basic EPS for 20x6. As a current year, that would be the profit attributable of what $65,000. So put it there $65,000 divided by the weighted average number of shares. So now, now be the bonus factor of 5 over 4 multiplied by the existing shares of 400,000 shares. So here's it. This is the existing shares 400,000 shares. So we'll bring it here. So now this will now be called to. $65,000 divided by 500,000 shares and that will be equal to how much? That's 13 cents. So now let's now calculate the basic EPS for 20x5. So that will be the profit for the year 
profit for 20 x5 of 60,000 divided by the number of shares as a 20 x5 that that would be the 400,000 shares then we now multiply by the reciprocal so and what is the reciprocal we did that in working through so this is the reciprocal of the bonus factor and we got 4 over 5 so we now see multiplied by 4 over 5 and that would be equal to how much that's 12 cents so with that we are done with the example